أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome back to living the Quran through the living Quran in this series where we've been investigating and reviewing chapter number fifty six Surah Al Waqi'ah the chapter of the inevitable event or the great event obviously a reference to the end of this world and the world the beginning of the world to come in our previous discussion we had a very brief review of the chapter of uh, the number of verses it contains where it was revealed and one of the statements of one of the earlier companions about the importance of this particular chapter today as we delve into the first passage or the first portion we want to review verses number one through to verse number six. Now, before we go into the uh, understanding and the brief commentary as authored by Sheikh Mohsen Karaati in his Tafsir Nur, we obviously have to realize at the very outset that the belief in the Day of Judgment, that this is a belief that all Muslims must have within their heart. Not only Muslims, obviously this is a belief in all the monotheistic religions, that this world will eventually come to an end. And obviously we are only given that amount of knowledge and information within the Qur'an and within the statements of the Prophet Muhammad and his successors. May God's peace and blessings be upon all of them. And so we need to study these texts to better understand the events of that day. And not only the events of that day, but rather we also need to be able to straighten our lives to ensure that when we come to that time that we are able to make our way through it with a collection of good actions on our record. Before we go into the commentary, let us have a listen to the Arabic and then the English translation of these six verses that we wish to look at this session, and then we'll come back and review the commentary of these verses. Allah says the following in chapter number 56, Surah Al-Waqi'ah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا وقعت الواقعة ليس لوقعتها كاذبة قافضة الرافعة Beware of the time when the inevitable and the promised event shall come to pass. There is no denying its coming to pass. This event shall be lowering the status of some and exalting the status of others. إِذَا رُجَّتِ الْأَرْضُ رَجَّا وَبُسَّتِ الْجِبَالُ بَسَّا فَكَانَتْ هَبَاءً مُنْبَثَّا This will take place when the earth shall be shaken with a violent shaking, and the mountains shall be completely shattered so that they shall be all reduced to particles of dust scattered about. Now, before we go into understanding the verses, we have to reflect on some of the words which God uses in this passage. Let us begin from the initial verses. The word khafadha, which Allah mentions in the third verse, that this word means to bring something down and to pull something down. While the opposite of it, Rafa'a, which Allah also uses in these introductory verses, it means to bring something up and raise something up. In addition, Allah uses the word Rajja. And the meaning of this word in the Arabic is that we're told it refers to an intense and a powerful shaking and something being uprooted. Now going on in some of the words which are mentioned, the word used also in this chapter is bassa. And this word means the crushing as a result of an extreme pressure. While the word haba'a is said to be a soft soil-like dust and particles which float in the air. And last but not least, the word mumbatha, it means something to be scattered or the, the act of scattering something. Now whenever an incident which will definitely occur is spoken about, even within our own day-to-day -day life, it's possible to use the past tense verb to express it. This is something definitely seen in the Qur'an, and so therefore many of the verses which speak about the Day of Resurrection, they are expressed in the past tense verb. In fact, in the first verse of this chapter, God says, 
that beware of the time when the inevitable and the promised event will have come to pass. And so as a practical example, even in our own day-to-day lives, if a person were to see a great flood making its way to a city, it could be said that the city had flooded or has flooded, despite the fact the flood has not yet reached the city. There is also another phrase in this passage in which God says that there is no denying it's coming to pass. And this means that when people will see the events before the end of this world on the doomsday, they will believe in in what is happening with all of their existence. This will be something that they will never be able to deny. And in fact, in the Quran, there are other verses like this, including in Surah Al-Ghafir, chapter number 40, verse number 84, in which Allah says, فَلَمَّا رَأَوْا بَأْسَنَا قَالُوا آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَحْدَهُ وَكَفَرْنَا بِمَا كُنَّا بِهِ مُشْرِكِينَ And so when they saw our punishment, they said, We believe in God alone, and we reject all that we used to associate with Him. In addition, in the Qur'an, in chapter number 26, Surah Al-Shu'ara, verse number 201, God says, لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِهِ حَتَّى يَرَوْا الْعَذَابَ الْأَلِيمِ That they will not believe in it until they see the grievous punishment. In addition, in the Qur'an, in chapter number 22, Surah Al-Hajj, verse number 55, God says, وَلَا يَزَالُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فِي مِرْيَةٍ مِّنْهُ حَتَّى تَأْتِيَهُمُ السَّاعَةُ حَتَّى تَأْتِيَهُمُ السَّاعَةُ بَغْتَةً أَوْ يَأْتِيَهُمْ عَذَابُ يَوْمٍ عَقِيمٍ And those who have disbelieved, they will continue to have doubt about this, meaning the Qur'an, until the hour overtakes them suddenly, or the scourge of a destructive day befalls them. In speaking about these verses of Surah Al-Waqi'ah, the fourth Imam, Imam Ali, the son of Hussein Zainul Abidin, peace be upon him, also known as Imam Al-Sajjad, he has said, By God, I swear the following, that the day of resurrection will bring down the enemies of God into hell. And this is understood from the word khafidha while the friends of God will be elevated into the gardens of paradise, and that this is understood from the word rafia. Indeed, truly dignity and disgrace, raising one person to a higher rank and degrading one to a lower rank, in all of reality these will be made clear on that day. And that is why our great scholars have been quoted as saying that real poverty and richness, after all the actions have been presented to Allah on the Day of Judgment, will be made clear. Let us pause here and we will continue in our next session with the continuation of the review of these first six verses of Surah Al-Waqi'ah as we get a better picture in our upcoming discussion of what will be happening to the earth and this planet on a whole. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.